Pick up the perks, man! This guy's level one. What's the uh, probability of this guy winning? Let's do a poll. Does this guy win? I mean, he landed to peak, so he must be pretty cracked, right? Only the best players go to peak. Part of the reason they even got to 150 million players in the first place was because of crossplay. It brought players to this game that otherwise would have never even thought of trying it because, ah, you know what? My buddy on PlayStation's playing it. I'll give it a try. As you play the game more, you see the problems that come up with it. And that's, I think, one of the reasons that they have not gone down the route of... Oh, this guy's about to get... Oh, 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 oh. He's running. He was running. But here we go. We found base. Two kills on board. Oh, yeah. He's looking much better here. XM4 with a red dot on it. XM4 did just recently receive a nerf. Decrease the minimum damage that it'll do. So if you hit, like, arm shots or things like that, it might take an extra bullet to kill. This guy's parachuting back in. That could be the guy that just died. He might have won his gulag, Watch although I would be guys. shocked. That's one of the reasons, though, that, like, a game like Valorant does really good. And it's also really good for competitive because it's only on PC. It's still, like, it's still going to be whoever has the better PC will have a frame rate advantage. You know, if you have better internet, same thing in Fortnite, you're going to have a ping advantage. That's one of the reasons that Fortnite's actually pretty good for competitive is because the, the and Valorant, too, the bar to play the game at a high enough frame rate is really low. It's a well-optimized game. Is that a guy that was next to him? Yeah, there was a guy right there. He didn't see it. I don't know why he even... Why he jumped down and go for a redeploy? Oh, my gosh. He's so lucky he didn't die. Yeah, so if you... Don't do what he did. No need. If anything, hit the balloon. Oh, it's not there. There is usually a balloon in the hole on his left there. The amount that I play the game, I know that if I were playing 50 or 60 hours a week, I could be I can be so much better at this game. I could be way better at this game. I see in my own gameplay all the mistakes that I'm making. And it's like, okay, yeah, if I really hammered this out and worked on improving this, I could be better. But I'm also, like, really happy with where I'm at. Like, I'm already really good. It's really fun going in and playing. I would have less fun grinding more. This is, like, the perfect medium where I am happy with the challenge that lobbies have for me. Or it's still really fun if I get a win. I'm super stoked. Boom. Oh, my gosh. It was trapped. Oh, he's got the Swiss. Oh, he's got that money Swiss. Perfect box. Pinned down at the top tower here. Here comes the bow, dude. If this guy gets bowed, he is... Okay, that's good. He got his... Uh, he got the bomb outside of it. I used to forget to even try using like, utilities. Yeah. Utilities will make a bigger difference for your game than even like drop shotting or jump shotting or anything like that. This dude's a bot? Nah, he's doing okay, man. He's got three kills. He's hit a couple of his snipes. He's still using the K-Switch, which is it's probably his biggest problem. See, here's the thing. Right there, if he just switches over to his secondary once he gets the crack, that guy would be dead. After you take your shot, especially from that close of a range, and he's got a 3x AK, just switch to your secondary. Pulling this bow out is going to reveal his position to everybody, which I don't really like. Of course, he's got two people on him. But you see how slow this play is going? It's going so slow that it gives more opportunity for more people to come over. To where there's going to be a fourth, fifth party here. It's such a slow play that, like, this is really decreasing his odds of winning the game. Although he is still in a good position. Um, it's just going to really, you know, it's just getting more and more risky. He's still in a good position, though. Well, arguably, he's probably in the best position right now. He's got two layers of glass to go through here. He does not get this. And that, yeah, you got to break glass before you can bow through it. I think. Wait, what? Somebody's on him. Get your other weapon out. Get your other weapon out. He's got a Betty blocking the door. Sniper's looking at him. He sees the Betty there with his engineer. He might even be able to hack that through the wall. Number one priority is positioning. Number two priority is getting zone pull. You want to make it as many zones as you possibly can. If you want wins. You're still going to need to be able to fight, though. So I'm hoping this guy has enough gun skill for it. He's playing a very long range build. So at the last like 1v3 situation or whatever, like when he's a top five, 
that's when he's going to have the most trouble. He has to play towards the fields and the exterior. If he pushes buildings, he's screwed. Unless he picks up, like he could go pick somebody's SMG up. But that's one of the reasons he can't go down and push this guy right now. He, he doesn't have a close range weapon to go for it. With Engineer, can you hack somebody else's loadout? You can't hack the loadout. Not to my knowledge. You can only hack the equipment. So I, earlier I got I got it and I hacked the uh, trophy system on a truck. I sniped somebody out of the truck. Then I got his, his turret truck and I hacked his trophy system. Amazing, dude. He was the best. All right, he's top 10 and he did not get the zone pull. So now this is a big problem for him. He's airstriked, I believe, because he's hopping out. We don't get to see that as spectators. Still got one in there. I would prioritize a zone rotation here, though. Now he's dead. See, this is the problem in terms of the end game, exactly. You get pushed by somebody close range with a submachine gun. This is one of my weaknesses to my gameplay as well. You don't want to push for a building, especially holding down. He probably should have tried to get up in zone a little bit, but there's so much traffic here from... It, it, there was a lot of fighting, and he didn't get any kills. That was the biggest problem. And here we go. We're following with Slick Deadly. 20 kills on board. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We got a gamer. Airstrike going up on top of the tower. I love this tower position, but it's very weak to this. Slick Daddy's taking damage from a lower shooter, though. He missed the kill window on this guy parachuting. He's got him close range. Goes for the stem push. He wants to just close this out. This is why it's a very nice build. He's got that mid-range, long-range control with the AR, and then he's got that he's got that ability to go for a full push with that Owen gun. And see, this is the difference. He's clearing out the zones. He knows that area is clear. And then he doesn't have to worry about a third or fourth party. Look how quick he gets the kill. It's done. He pushes the kill all the way, executes, and starts getting ready in case he gets pushed by somebody else. 22 kills on board now. And here comes the push from somebody. Pops his stem, uses the mobility. Closes distance. Executed. Fight's over. No third parties. No waiting around. You see the difference in the gameplay of what we just saw from the other guy holding the top tower. Top four situation. And now look. This side of the zone is very clear. He's going to know the tr most of the traffic's over here. He does have the truck, which is going to be a massive problem. Probably has one in the house here since that's still in. And probably one in the bushes up here or even still in the building up here. He's really hoping this truck doesn't see him. Staying prone here. And you see the airstrike there. So two players accounted for. Missing one player. Pommel's damage in here, but the protection from this vehicle is going to be a lot. He's, he goes for the seat swap. Holding cover while this guy's seat swapped out. Guy goes back to driver's seat, rotates. Damage coming. Good pressure. Exactly what you want to do. Keep throwing bullets into this thing. Make it weak. Force it so when he comes down to that final fight, he can get the kill. Only one other player alive. He's going for the full gas mask burn here. He's still got double stims as well. It's a hard play. It's a hard decision to make right there. Pepper the ass. Pepper the pepper that ass. He's still got a double Betty as well. Looks like he got his restock back. He's fully pinned now, though. The truck is out of zone. I like his patience here because the truck's going to go into the zone. He's going to be forced to get into it. He popped the stim, put more pressure on it. He's not going to have plates, though. The hop out does occur. 1v1 fight goes down. Player dead. He has one more stim to pop here. There's going to be no plates in this situation. But he pushes it and gets it! Bring it off the dub! Even with no plates there, what does he do, ladies and gentlemen? He pushes the fight. He stim pushes that fight after that situation. He doesn't wait to get a replay and let the other guy reset. He ends the fight. Very, very well played. Hey, well done on the dub there, my guy. Over 20 kills on the board. How are you feeling after that? Oh, good. After that truck didn't kill me. Yep, that was a great play playing the outside, stimming off it, and then going for the final push. What were you thinking down to that uh, 1v1 when you went for the push? I don't know. I was just shit out of luck. No plates. No plates. Pop the stem. Go and send it. See if you can get the game over. And you got it done, man. He was looking Pretty the total much. other way. Well done. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Just a casual dub uh, out of plates and goes for the push off of it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Boom. Oh my gosh. It was trapped. Still got one in there. I would prioritize a zone rotation here, though. Now he's dead. See, this is the problem in terms of the end game, exactly.